Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss the second part of magnetic effects of steady current. First of all, ampere circuital law. Ampere circuital law states that in SI units, mind this, in SI units, the line integral of the magnetic induction around a closed path is the total current enclosed by the path multiplied by the permeability of free space in mathematical form look at here this is the closed line integral of b i mean magnetic induction dot dl dl means elementary length elementary length which is in vector form and the line integral uh, closed line integral over b dot dl is equal to mu zero times i enclosed now what ampere's law wants to say look at this figure suppose this is a current carrying conductor okay somehow its radius say to a okay and it is carrying a current i okay now if we want to deduce the magnetic field the magnetic field is somehow here then this magnetic field encloses which current encloses this current i so we will draw a Amperian loop here and this distance is the radius of this Amperian loop and if we take here the elementary length this is along this direction is dl this is dl this elementary length and this is an elementary uh, this is somehow angle theta and this dl is this elementary length okay now let us calculate the magnetic field here the magnetic field we can calculate from this amperian uh, ampere's law so for first example magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor here amperian loop this amperian loop this amperian loop encloses the current this i so for this case if we write so let us first write down Ampere's law again closed integral of B dot DL over C C is the uh, circumference of the Amperean loop 
or uh, or the closed contour is equal to mu zero i enclosed. Here, the circumference of this Ampelian loop is b into two pi r. What is r? r is the radius of this Ampelian loop is equal to mu zero i enclosed here the Ampelian loop encloses the current i okay so we can replace i enclosed by i therefore magnetic field b is equal to mu zero i by 2 pi r now let us watch carefully what is the magnetic field deduced here actually this magnetic field we have calculated here is the magnetic field outside this current carrying conductor so this is the case where r is greater than a okay even if it equal to a what will be the case if we consider the magnetic field is inside the current carrying conductor so write down this this is the case magnetic field outside the current carrying conductor now let us consider the magnetic field inside the current carrying conductor what will be the magnetic field inside the current carrying conductor look at the figure first we can draw this figure in an elaborate form or enlarged form this is the same current carrying conductor but in some enlarged form for our better understanding now this is the radius of the current carrying conductor same as this the before case as a now we have to calculate the magnetic field inside this point inside the current carrying conductor this at this point so let us draw a Amperian loop here and the radius of this Amperian loop is R similarly uh, the direction of this Amperian loop is like this anti-clockwise we have deduced here or, or sorry draw here the Amperian loop in counter uh, counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction now the current through this Amperian loop will be what first of all the current through this current carrying conductor I is equal to pi a square into J where j 
is the current density okay this is the total current or the current through the current carrying conductor now the current enclosed by this amperian loop what will be the current enclosed by the amperian loop or i enclosed which is already uh, told in this ampere ampere's law will be pi r square into j since current density of both these cases are same now let us take the ratio i enclosed by i is equal to pi r square j by pi a square j pi pi will um, will cancel out uh, j j cancelled out and we can write i enclosed is equal to r by a whole square into i therefore for this case if we write ampere circuital law again closed integral of b dot dl over c is equal to mu zero i enclosed therefore b into the circumference of this amperian loop is 2 pi r is equal to mu zero what is i enclosed i enclosed is like this already have deduced here r by a whole square into i therefore b is equal to mu zero r square i by a square into 2 pi r is equal to mu zero i r by 2 pi a square therefore for this case b is equal to mu zero i r by 2 pi a square so for this case for this case where r uh, is placed r is less than or equal to a now if we uh, draw a graph for this magnetic field what will like uh, what will be the graph along y axis magnetic field along x axis the radius of the amperian loop or the distance from the um, axis now this is zero or the origin this is the circumference uh, the radius of the circumference or, or the radius of the uh, current carrying wire and henceforth the uh, towards the infinite distance now for this case 0 to a the magnetic field will increase for this case 0 to a the magnetic field will increase in a linear manner look at here b is proportional to here r so the magnetic field will increase in a linear manner this will be straight line and after a the magnetic field will be inversely proportional to r according to this equation b is inversely proportional to r so the graph will be like this here b is proportional to r here b is inversely proportional to r and for b is equal um, for r is equal to a for both these cases the magnetic field will be first case b is equal to mu zero 
i by 2 pi a just replace this r by a and for the second case b is equal to replace this r by a mu 0 i a by 2 pi a square is equal to mu 0 i by 2 pi a look at this both are same this is mu 0 i by 2 pi a this is also mu 0 i by 2 pi a okay both are same this is mu 0 i by 2 pi a this is also mu 0 i by 2 pi a so for this case the maximum value of b is mu 0 i by 2 pi a okay